Hey folks, happy Wednesday to you. Uh, it is Wednesday, March 2nd, and today is actually Ash Wednesday. Um, so I hope you will have the opportunity to really reflect upon uh, this devotional um, in a particularly deep way as we think about Ash Wednesday as a day for us to think about that uh, because of our sin, um, the the wages for our sin is death. Um, and apart from God, um, we are nothing. We are ashes in the earth. Um, and it is only by God's forgiveness that we can sustain life um, eternal. And uh, so that's where our devotional takes us today. Um, I have my prayer calendar here. The March is the month of forgiveness. So Wednesday, March 2nd, describe God's plan for forgiveness. And then there's quite a long passage, 15 verses. So Hebrews 10, chapter 10 through 25. I'm not going to read it all. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, trust that you all will open in your Bibles and read that uh, because it really does describe sort of the fullness of the work that Christ is, do, that God is doing in our lives through Christ, forgiving us, sort of pointing to the way forgiveness used to happen in the Jewish temple religion and saying that now this is the way that we are ritualizing forgiveness um, in Christianity. And there's one line that I do want to read, and that is verse 22. And this is really the result of forgiveness, that they're saying this is the process. If we believe it, this is the result. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. Let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And so we are offered this forgiveness that can give us a full assurance that can take away any uh, um, e evil conscience or, or any thought in our minds that we are not enough or that our sin is too great or that we are not worthy to be forgiven can take away any of that and that we could be pure starting over again. I know so many people in life, myself included, who count ourselves to be the hardest one that we can, the hardest person to forgive. And we spend so much time uh, sort of beating ourselves up. But what this text is saying is that this is what we can have. A true heart, full assurance of faith, a clean conscience, purity again. Uh, when we receive this forgiveness of God. And so, you know, oftentimes when we talk about forgiveness, we're talking about God's forgiveness. We're talking about our need to forgive other people and how difficult that is. But today it's really about us accepting God's forgiveness um, and what that can do in our life. And so this Ash Wednesday, whether you go to a service and, and you have an imposition of ashes upon your forehead, I pray that you would come to understand more deeply what it would mean for you to be forgiven by God. God bless. Have a great day.